All right, well, tonight is the first night I will be able to test out the Snow Joe 40 volt lithium ion powered snowblower. And uh, it was dead silent out here until the city plow decided to come and plow in my driveway. Oh, he's gonna nail me, it's gonna be cool. And then now uh, my neighbor across the street has uh, his gas one going and it, it went from dead silent to completely insanely loud. Well, uh, the Snow Joe is pretty much silent. So um, the mixture that we got today was ice rain, sleet, more ice rain, and finally a dusting of snow. And it is nasty stuff. This is the first time that the Model S has let me down in terms of handling in snow. Otherwise, I have really never had a problem before. So, uh, without further ado, let me grab one glove. <coughs> Two gloves. Turn on my handy dandy snowblower headlight. <laughs> and uh, well, I want to keep the camera inside because I don't want to get off all snow. It is a bit breezy out there. But I'm also going to turn on night mode so it's. Is that a big difference? Yeah. I'll leave night mode on so you can see me a little better. And uh, let's give this a try. Uh, right now it's about three inches deep and uh, about a foot and a half deep uh, at the end of the driveway. I was waiting to make a left hand turn into my driveway. Snow cloud comes up, plows my driveway in, so now I'm stuck in the street until I clear out. So, snowball running. So far, other than uh, the battery box won't stay shut. get a rubber band for that battery box it is not staying shut. Yeah, I don't want I don't want stuff getting in there and uh get stuck in contact. But of course when you need one you can't find a rubber band. If I get slush in there, it's a little disappointing on the power level so far. Expect a little more.
And uh, I will say I'm extremely disappointed compared to my grandparents' uh, lasted battery powered uh, lawnmower, my lithium powered chainsaw, uh, lithium powered weed whacker, small blower, hedge trimmer, car, everything else. Um, this thing is seriously lacking. Um, I think this just might be too wet and heavy uh, for this kind of unit. Well, I think this battery's dead, but I don't leave. <coughs> I didn't start with a full battery either. It was down to about 80% when I started. You don't leave lithium batteries stored at 100%, so I ran it down with my lithium chainsaw. So I'll put that one back in the charger. And take battery number two out of the chainsaw. Now, uh, once battery number two is gone, I'm giving up on this thing. The snow is just too heavy for, for this. Uh, maybe if it was like the 52 volt version or whatever the next one up is. Uh, but um, it just has no power. As soon as it hits anything that's wet, it just comes to a standstill. That's it, I get it. I'd like to get done sometime today. It's killing me to do this. mosquito killer here. I don't even have any 
my gas. My gas cans. I ain't got gas. So, uh, I'll plug that for a second. I guess I was out of gas, but on the right side, I did knock probably a half hour off by still blowing. My review conclusion on the Snow Joe lithium ion 40 volt powered 18 inch cordless snow blower <coughs> is that it is uh, at least for my climate here in Wisconsin uh, this is a toy uh, while other things like the uh, Sun Joe which uses the same battery lithium powered chainsaw uh, just performs absolutely spectacular I can I cut wood upon wood upon wood upon wood, and that thing just keeps on going, never stops. Uh, the problem with the Snow Joe snowblower, and I mean it would do fine if they could correct this issue, is uh, once it hits that pile of snow, uh, and now we did get a, another snowing about one inch, but it but wasn't the slush as, or as icy as uh, what I tried doing in the review video. Uh, and it did fine with that, so I think that's what it's more geared towards. Um, it's definitely not a replacement at this time for my old two-stroke single stage. Uh, that went through what this thing couldn't, like it was butter. Um, I ran out of gas, as you could see in the video, um, so I had to do a little more with this, at least to get the car in the driveway, which was a pain in the butt. Uh, had unfortunately go buy uh, a gallon of gas for that which should be enough to last me two years uh, and finish uh, the next day uh, headlight on the Sun uh, excuse me snow Joe is awesome uh, the battery box not so much it would not stay shut uh, it was it's supposed to click in considering that I've never used it um, battery box did not stay shut uh, the push button start um, is nice, but if you let go of the handle, of course, the auger stops, and then you have to push the button again, pull the auger back. There is a delay between um, pulling the lever back and the auger starting. It takes about uh, one to two seconds for the auger to restart after uh, pushing the button. Now, considering that this is electric, uh, it should be instant. There shouldn't be a delay like that. Uh, it has the automatic rotation which is nice and convenient but uh, also useless at the same time as once some snow and slush got down in there you could no longer the, the motor was not, not strong enough to move it any longer got down to the gear mechanism whereas even on the, my old old one there it was it's even packed with snow it's still easy to turn by hand um, that motor needs to either be a little stronger or needs to be redesigned so the gear does not get as packed with slush and snow. Um, now the I should 
they kind of passed it on it. Uh, the main problem is once this thing hits any, you know, quantifiable amount of uh, snow, it just comes to a dead stop. The auger just stops turning. It's not strong enough to keep keep going. I think what could solve that problem would be is if they ran the motor at a higher RPM and had a gear to just reduce it. So say run the motor at twice the RPM but then have a reduction gear so that way the auger turns at the same speed it does now. Uh, that way it would have more strength to be able to plow through. Um, I would definitely sacrifice some battery life. I mean uh, the runtime was pretty good considering the beating I was giving it just to try and get through the snow. So runtime is not the problem. The problem is it just doesn't move the darn snow. So um, I did not pay that much for it. Um, I got it as an end of season clear, clearance. I didn't pay the 400 I got it for 100 bucks with the battery and a charger. Uh, the batteries alone are worth at least 100 bucks. And considering that I have the chainsaw, uh, having two batteries was a no-brainer. So, I mean, I eventually I would have got a second battery for the chainsaw anyway. So, I mean, the, technically it was like I, I bought the battery and got the snowblower for free. Uh, since I already have a nice spot to tuck my gas one away and the, the snow, uh, snow joe is light as a feather, um, I'll hang the snow drill from the rafters in my garage, put uh, the gas one in its tuck away spot, and for the light snows, I'll just use the uh, the snow drill. God, I got it, might as well use it, because I won't, won't be able to sell it without that battery, and I want the battery. So, that's about it. Um, if you live in an area that just gets a lot of dustings, that I mean, it'd take a long time to shovel, but... Uh, walking it with a snow, light, uh, snow blower would be one, two, three. Go for it. Um, heavy snow it definitely doesn't do it. Although if you are interested in purchasing, please follow the uh, Amazon link in the description box below this video. And it'll take you to the Amazon page where you may purchase the 40-volt uh, Snow Joe uh, lithium-ion powered snow blower. Um, considering that now I only have two products I thought I'd be able to replace the gas one with the uh, lithium powered uh, and then I would have been down to one power tool that is still gas powered or one tool all the end one thing at all that's still gas powered which would have been the garden lawn tractor for cutting the big backyard which is just a little bit too big for lithium uh, Cub Cadet has a lithium powered lawn tractor mower but it's about four grand I don't have four grand to spend, especially when I only go through two gallons of gas a year in the lawn tractor. But it looks like I will, in fact, be having to hold on to the gas-powered snowblower, unfortunately. Smile, cheese! All right, well, tonight is the first night I will be able to test out the Snow Joe 40-volt lithium-ion-powered snowblower. And uh, it was dead silent out here until the city plow decided to come and plow in my driveway. Oh, he's going to nail me. It's going to be cool. And then now uh, my neighbor across the street has uh, his gas one going, and it, it went from dead silent to completely insanely loud. Well, uh, the Snow Joe is pretty much silent. So um, the mixture that we got today was ice rain, sleet, more ice rain, and finally a dusting of snow. And it is nasty stuff. This is the first time that the Model S has let me down in terms of handling in snow. Otherwise, I have really never had a problem before. So, uh, without further ado, let me grab that one glove. <coughs> Two gloves. Turn on my handy dandy snowblower headlight. <laughs> and uh, well, I want to keep the camera inside because I don't want it to get off all snow. It is a bit breezy out there. But I'm also going to turn on night mode so let's see. Is that a big difference? Yeah. I'll leave night mode on so you can see me a little better. And uh, let's give this a try. Uh, right now it's about three inches deep and uh, about a foot and a half deep 
uh, at the end of the driveway. I was waiting to make a left-hand turn into my driveway. Snow plow comes up, plows my driveway in, so now I'm stuck in the street until I clear out. So, snowblower running. <laughs> 